Welcome back to the broadcast. We're in the Sub-Zero Wolf Bentwood Kitchen now with my Taste Texas co-host, Chef Garth Blackburn, who's here to show us some heart-healthy meals that can make your holiday season even brighter, believe it or not. Hey, Garth. Hey there. And taste delicious, too. That's the, the focal right. point, right? That's the, that's the key. And today's uh, real focus on the American Heart Association. So that's right. we're going to go over some key points for this winter smoothie with some delicious fresh fruits and vegetables, and it's all about color. So Heart Association really encourage you to, when you're going shopping, look for colorful things. Right. And know the ingredients. And I mean, just because it's winter doesn't Texas. mean there's not a lot of really still beautiful produce out that's still colorful and healthy at the same time. And some of the farms that we've been to, like that's Damascus right. Farms, for example, where the kale Tomatoes came from. If you want to tear kale. some mm -hmm. of that and put that into our yeah, our smoothie blender here. Do you want the whole thing or do you want to pinch tear those? Off, yeah, just tear off those stems. Okay. I'm going to put in a little bit of green apple. Right. And that's got the skin on it. How because much kale do you want in here? All of that? Two or three of those. Okay. And I'm leaving the skin on because that's going to be more fiber. They're, they're more nutrients. So again, going with the heart health. True. Some spinach, also from okay. Damascus Farms. Ooh, this is really pretty. Look how huge those leaves Isn't are. They're pretty. Yeah. And it's more flavorful than that baby spinach that you get prepackaged at the grocery store, fresh True. from the ground. True. Okay, this is some Texas cucumber. Ooh, this is going to be good. Lots of green. All right, I'm going to put in about a cup of milking milk. One cup of whole milk, or is it like... Uh, no, it would be better off to have 1% or 2%. Okay. Uh, something a little bit lighter. All right. Okay, now kiwi. Yeah. This is uh, my favorite way to cut kiwi fruit open. And kiwi is actually higher in vitamin C than oranges are. So oranges always get the positive... Really? Yeah, I positive press, but kiwi is actually going to be even better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the top. Mm-hmm and the bottom, right. and what you're gonna do is you're gonna slip the spoon between the skin and the flesh. So you see how that's kinda going in there? Yeah. And then we'll work our way around. Oh, that's cool. And this way. What a great little trick. That's you're able to have the whole easy. kiwi. So do you wanna try one? Uh, yeah, sure. Sure. <laughs> uh -huh, thanks, you're gonna put me to work right now, the top and the bottom. Yep. And then, you know what I do to kinda tell you my trick? Sure. <laughs> okay. Well, for the kids' lunch, okay. cut it in half. I don't, I don't cut the top and bottom off. Cut it in half, and then just send it in a baggie already put together, just cut in half, and then send a plastic spoon. So all they have to do is scoop it out while they're at school. That sounds eat. good. There you go. Well, and actually, you can eat the the outside, the skin as well. You can. Hot, very high in fiber. Sound very good. It's a little furry on the okay, top. Okay, this though. is not hard. That's really neat. What a great little trick. Okay, now what does it matter though if we're put, do we have to put it in whole in this? No, no. Oh, you just wanted to share your, okay, gotcha. <laughs> I did a couple ahead of time as well. Okay. All right, so we're gonna put in a couple tablespoons of Desert Creek honey. I got to go visit there with Blake. To make sure it doesn't stick to my spoon, Yeah. I'm gonna put my spoon into a little bit of canola oil. Yeah. So, and that's a healthier fat too. Pretty much if the fat is liquid, mm -hmm. it's gonna be healthier than a fat that's solid at room temperature. Okay, and so this way, it slides off. It your slides spoon. off much easier. Oh, that's a so we'll put in two of these. You're just full of great tips today. Oh, there you go. Wow. All right. Neat. So why don't you grab the lid for the blender? All right. Got it. And you got Let's this. Let's put a squeeze of lemon juice real quick, and oh. then a little bit of ice. Oh. <laughs> okay. Thanks. <laughs> oh, did I get you? Oh, total <laughs> oh, accident. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Garth. Appreciate that. Okay. A little interactive cooking experience. Now I'll try to get that all in there, right? that down. I don't even think I have to put it on. I don't know. This could, this could explode at any moment. <laughs> I, hope not. I don't want to reduce our makeup today. Okay, beautiful. We made it. Beautiful. We did. No green no stuff everywhere. No big explosion everywhere. All right, so now we're going to rim these Fill glasses uh -huh. with some Gilbert Texas pecans. So put that into... Pecans? Right. So a small amount of, of nuts each day is going to be good for you as well. Heart Association is a big fan of that. So that's our little rim there. And speaking of the Heart Association, they've got a really great um, event coming up because in February it is the Go Red Month for, for heart disease and, and bringing heart disease awareness uh, for women. And so we want to be sure and mention that uh, February 6th. Dude, that's beautiful. Of course, you put the finishing garnishes right. on it. And all you got to do for me is just fill that thing up, and I'll drink it well, plain. Well, actually, I had something. So that's for kids. That's going to be good to go for the kids' side. Right. I'm just thinking a little bit more Texas <laughs> flavor. Your little Tito's there? Is that so, what that is? Tito's everything in vodka? moderation, I think, right? For I don't the know heart if the Heart Association would appreciate this. Red wine might be a <laughs> she might be a little bit better. Maybe. Moderation. 
Yeah, great idea. So I wasn't making an adult milkshake today, so this is going to be an my adult smoothie. Adult smoothie. Nice. All right. So the new year is just around the corner, and like we were talking about that um, event for the American Heart Association, uh, they want to remind you that the Go Red for Women luncheon is on February 6th. And for more details about that, you can head over to thebroadcasttv.com and then click on today's links.